course do I want, like, you know, success and nice things and all that good stuff, of course, you know? But at the same time, you know, that's not the motivation. You know, I go out to Edgewater, JFK Boulevard, you know, look at the skyline. It's a place I went to a lot as a kid and just try to remember. It's the kind of nostalgic feeling of being a kid again. For me, growing up in Newark, you know, it's what made me. I can gladly say I'm a product of my environment. And a lot of that credit goes to my parents, honestly. Growing up, super humble beginnings, real poor, but didn't feel like it. For me, as a kid, I was always seeking and looking for something else. From catching the bus over to the city, catching the New Jersey Path train, you know, to New York as a kid, just living, breathing city. You know, a lot of inspiration. My dad used to tell me all the time, like, you gotta be serious about something. When I reflect and think about how far I've come, yep. I told myself at a young age that I was gonna like sacrifice. Hey. I used to run myself into the ground to like pure exhaustion just because then I would feel like, oh, I deserve it. Probably why I go so hard in the gym, go so hard in life. I wanna feel the hardships of it. Boxing is like a primal feeling for me. Hitting the bag, hitting another body. You might catch a shot. That kind of metallic blood taste and get in your mouth. It's that connection you feel when you, every time you, you make contact. And yeah, the sweat, the smell, smell of gym, leather, bags, ropes. Taking a moment and taking a break, I think is super important. And it's something that I just recently learned to do. You gotta refuel, you gotta rest, you gotta reset. So I think basketball, meditation, you know, breathing. Sometimes I forget to breathe. Watching Michael Jordan play, it was like poetry. I loved everything about it. You know, having a name like that, that gave me a healthy chip growing up. How do you push past the not wanting to do something? You remember why you're doing it. Why you're working hard. What's at stake? For me, it's, you know, my family. All the dreams that I have in my head that I want to, you know, see manifest. I want to leave a mark on this world. I want to do things that that's going to last longer than my physical body will.